Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, I am going to show you the changes and improvements in the dev channel of Windows 11 Insider Preview, version 24H2, build 26120.2992, KB5050083. So, without further ado, let's begin. Microsoft is trying to make finding your documents, photos, and settings across Windows 11 easier on Copilot Plus PCs. By introducing semantic indexing, along with traditional indexing, whether it's searching in File Explorer, in the Windows search box on your taskbar, or in Settings, just type what's on your mind to find it on your Copilot Plus PC. You no longer need to remember file names, exact words and file content, or settings names. Searching for files on your Copilot Plus PC with improved Windows Search, will only work for files saved locally in index locations on your PC. You can go to Privacy and Security in the Settings app to adjust which locations are indexed on your PC, or turn on Enhanced, to index your entire PC. In a future flight, the company will support searching for documents and photos stored in cloud storage providers, such as OneDrive. Searching for settings like Change My Theme will work within the Settings app for now. In a future flight, you will be able to do this within the Windows search box on the taskbar. You'll see a new text action for Click to Do, available on Copilot Plus PCs, called Refine. To try this out, press Windows Plus Click directly on a block of text, or press Windows Plus Q, and then navigate to the text you'd like to proofread and refine. When you open the menu, the new action will be under Rewrite, then click on Refine. There are some changes and improvements in this update like, Microsoft has added a new folder option in the context menu, when right-clicking locations in the navigation pane. The company has added a new keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus Alt plus minus, for magnifier users to quickly toggle between the current zoom and 1x zoom. In addition to the keyboard shortcut, some buttons have also been added in magnifier to reset zoom and fit to the screen, with reset zoom to your last preferred position. You will now have a standard Windows 11 taskbar, after restoring from a backup, via the Windows Setup Experience, on a new Windows PC. You can still find your apps in the Start menu. Search and pin apps that you want on your taskbar. This update adds to the list of drivers that are at risk for bring your own vulnerable driver attacks. There are some fixes in this update like Fixed an issue where the date and time properties of files were unexpectedly updated, in some cases after copying them. Fixed an issue where File Explorer may sometimes lose focus on the search box, while typing. Fixed an issue where when you did a search, it may unexpectedly trigger the search happening repeatedly. Fixed an issue where the details pane icons weren't responding correctly, to theme changes, making it hard to see if you switched from dark to light or vice versa. Fixed a black flash in File Explorer that appeared when duplicating a tab. Fixed an issue where Task Manager wrongly identified an HDD, as an SSD. Fixed the issue where Click to Do would sometimes not highlight any info on screen. If there is no content on a connected external monitor, in extended mode. There are some known issues in this update like After you reset your PC, from the Settings app, then System and select Recovery. Your build version may incorrectly show as Build 26100, instead of Build 26120. This will not prevent you from getting future updates, which will resolve this issue. You might see an error, when booting into Windows Recovery on ARM64 PCs, this will be fixed in the next dev channel flight. Recall can be enabled or disabled from turn Windows features on or off. Microsoft is caching the recall binaries on disk. In a future update, they will completely remove the binaries. Some users may see a message to make sure recall is saving snapshots, while the settings page for recall shows saving snapshots is enabled. Rebooting your device will resolve this issue. Make sure you update Microsoft 365 apps to the latest version so you can jump back into specific documents. Sometimes additional context is given when using more intelligent text actions, powered by PhySilica. The intelligent text actions leverage the power of Microsoft's Secure Cloud. To improve your text results, by ensuring safe and appropriate prompts and responses, local moderation to ensure the safety of prompts and responses will be added in the future. Replacing this cloud endpoint, 
sometimes click to do doesn't highlight any info on the screen. If there is no content on a connected external monitor in extended mode, some users may experience a crash on first launch of live captions. Restart live captions if you encounter this issue. If audio is playing or the microphone is enabled, switching languages will crash live captions. Stop audio when changing languages to resume captions or translations. When you open a file explorer window and minimize it in this build, it may not render correctly when you restore it. In this build, the search box on the taskbar does not have the same underline and sparkles icon UI that the file explorer search box has. This will be coming in a future flight. In some rare cases, improved Windows search experiences may not be available and may require a reboot to start working. File explorer search might be unresponsive and may require a reboot to start working. Searching on Outlook while offline might result in some results not being found. The underline animation in the file explorer search box sometimes does not stop pulsing. The tip about the new search improvements appears whenever you set focus to the search box in file explorer rather than only once. So, that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video. Subscribe to the channel and if you have any question, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.